What's the world's largest species of shark? The world's largest species of shark is the whale shark. This gentle giant can grow to be 43 feet long and weigh 13 tons. That's huge for a fish. What is the world's fastest shark? The fastest shark in the world is the short fin mako. This is the cheetah of the shark world and it's designed like a torpedo. One individual was recorded at swimming at a speed of 46 miles per hour. That's fast. What's the most dangerous shark known to man? And where is it found? Without a doubt, the most dangerous shark in the world is the bull shark. No other shark in the world is responsible for more attacks on humans than this guy. One reason why it's so dangerous is because simply there is no other animal that has more testosterone running through its veins than this animal does. But the other reason is because this is the only shark in the world that can go from salt water to fresh water readily. Special glands in its anus allow it to absorb or deposit salt at need. So there is no river system in the world in which this shark cannot invade. Nowhere are you safe. You can find this shark in the Amazon, the Mississippi, the Zambezi River, the Nile River, and you can find it in all the major oceans except for the Arctic and the Antarctic Oceans. How many teeth does a shark go through in his lifetime? It's a very good question, Ethan. A typical shark will go through around 50,000 teeth in his lifetime. If you look at a shark's jaw, you can see that it's like a conveyor belt. If one of his tooth gets broken or dull, there's thousands of them more to replace it. How many species of sharks are there? There are some 465 different species of shark known to man. Are there any sharks that live in the Arctic Ocean? <sighs> Actually, Bree, there are species of shark that live in the Arctic Ocean. You have the salmon shark, which is like a little miniature great white. You have the sleeper shark, which can grow to be 24 feet long. That even rivals the great white in size. And then you have the blunt nose six gill, an ancient species of shark that lives in the depths of the ocean. What is the most rare shark in the world? The world's rarest shark is the Borneo River Shark, and there's only supposed to be 30 individuals left in the wild. What has been found in the stomachs of tiger sharks? That's a very good question, Austin. Some of the things that have been found in the stomachs of tiger sharks include license plates, tin cans, shoes, barrel of nails, dynamite, even a full suit of armor have been found in the stomachs of tiger shark, but that does not make them indiscriminate feeders. What is your world's smallest species of shark? The smallest species of shark in the entire world is called the dwarf lantern shark. This cute little shark does not grow to be any larger than 8 inches long. Why did Megalodon go extinct? The reason why Megalodon went extinct is because simply it was just too well adapted for its environment. When you grow to be Megalodon size, you need a lot to eat. The only, reason, the only way how Megalodon could have gotten its food source was by eating whales. What happened a million years ago was that there was a sudden climate in the poor regions of the world. The large baleen whales that which men would not require to eat migrated to the northern and southern poles. Unable to follow them into the colder water, Megalodon pretty much starved to death into extinction. How do sharks give birth? Shark reproduction is very complex and there are three ways that sharks can give birth. Oviparous sharks, like these leopard sharks behind me, are sharks in which reproduce by laying eggs. So the mother will find a good place in the coral reef to hide her eggs, she'll lay them, and then she'll leave them. Viviparous sharks are sharks in which give birth to live pups. These include great whites, tigers, and lemons. And then you have the ovoviviparous sharks. These are sharks in which lay eggs, but then the eggs hatch within the mother, and then they give birth to live pups. The most infamous ovoviviparous shark is the sand tiger, in which two of the embryos will hatch early, and then they start cannibalizing their unborn siblings. It's a very brutal way to start life. Are sharks and stingrays related? Sharks and stingrays are actually related to each other. They belong to an order of fish called the cartilaginous fish, named so because their skeletal systems are made of cartilage instead of bone. If it makes more sense, you can think of a stingray as a flattened out shark. Cool. I don't know if you knew this, Jessica, but sawfish and skates are also related to sharks the same race.
So what do sharks do? A shark's diet will vary with the species. Now, most sharks will happily eat bony fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and cephalopods. Like squid and octopi. The thing is, humans are just not on a shark's diet. Did you know that the two largest species of sharks are filter feeders? Yeah, the whale shark and the basking shark eat nothing but plankton and small fish. But a great white style will consist mainly of pinnipeds, seals, and sea lions, like these guys behind me. Why did the hammerhead have such a weird head? <laughs> Sharky thinks that's an excellent question, Chris. Hammerhead shark are a relatively newly evolved species of shark, and the reason why they have that unique head is really interesting. Sharks have a sixth sense. Located on their snout are these little black pores. These are sensory organs that we call the ampullae of Lorenzini. They allow the shark to detect the minute electrical discharges produced by every animal every time they move a muscle. Now you may ask, how does that help the hammerhead? Well, hammerheads like to eat fish that bury themselves in the sand, particularly stingrays. So, if you imagine yourself a shark and you're trying to look for buried food, it's a good thing to have sort of like a metal detector. No matter how well that fish hides, it cannot stop its own beating heart. A beating heart gives off electrical discharges. And the more ampullae of Lorenzini you have, the better your chances of finding that buried fish and eating it. And that is why a hammerhead has such a unique snout. That is why evolution made it the ultimate shark. No myth, the sharks in our oceans are in trouble. Tens of millions of sharks are taken out every year in the brutal, wasteful, inhumane practice of shark fin. Sharks have been around for 400 million years. That's 150 million years older than the dinosaurs themselves. But out of all the threats and mass extinctions that they had to survive, we are the worst. Sharks are not brutal, mindless man -eaters. They are the top apex predators of their environment. They are the pinnacle of evolution. They're just misunderstood. Making this document, I hope I replace your fear with this fascination. And I hope your understanding about the negatives of animals is a little better now. How can I help protect sharks? Protecting sharks is actually not that hard. One way to help sharks is simply to recycle. This will decrease the amount of trash going into the oceans. And not only will we protect the sharks, but other marine life as well. Another way to protect sharks is simply say no to shark fin soup. But the best way to protect sharks is through education. Telling your friends about how important these animals are, not only to the ocean, but to the world. I wear this pendant not only as a reminder to my obligation to the sea and the sharks and to protect them, but also to remind me of my bond with these animals. And perhaps if people become educated, further research is done, and more people know about how important sharks are to the environment, perhaps one day man and the sea will live in harmony. And sharks and man will come together as brothers. And all I have to say now is... Sharks rule! Thank you.